Hi everyone, this is the Legendary Arm back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Beyblade unboxing. And this one will be for Drawn Buster. Yeah, I kind of threw the Drawn Buster. I actually kind of wanted to do it like this because of, um, I have all of UX right now. Well, as of right now. So, Drawn Buster, Hell's Hammer, and Wizard Rod. So, this video will be doing Drawn Buster. And another thing I actually got is the white string launcher and the launcher grip. Pretty nice. I can't really, um, I didn't want to dedicate a whole video on it, but long story short, it's basically a launcher grip and a string launcher. Nothing much. Except the grip on this is actually really nice. I like it. So I might take this off and then put it on my launcher set. Who knows? Okay, so this is Drawn Buster. Is UX01, which is um, this is basically the Star of Beyblade X UX, the unique X Extreme line, as they call it. That's why it's called UX. And yeah, and this is AJ6 and up to Car Tommy Beyblade X, of course. This comes with a launcher, which the launcher has a blue ripcord, and it shows Drawing Buster right there. And on the back, you see. It is an attack type rice spin, part of the unique extreme line. Um, can't really can't really translate that ability, but I guess it's like a one hit KO or like a really strong one hit impact or something like that. Because that's what it seems to be. It's basically like Excalibur, but for Bailey X before the remake even happens. But there you go. There's a this picture of Common X or X Cross or Jackson Cross, whichever one you want to call him at this point. And now, let's get on to the unboxing. By the way, if you want to support this channel, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All those things help a lot. And if you want to support me in a financial way, then you can always go to the link in the description. There's a link to a site called Model Toys, and whatever you buy through that link, you'll actually support me in the process. I also have discount codes to help you save money. They are the Legendary R, and it works for Bays and Bricks and Model Toys. On Model Toys, it saves you 5% off, and on, on Bays and Bricks, it saves you 7% off. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm back, and I think I forgot to do this last time for the, um, for the Sphinx Cow unboxing or Unicorn Horn. I forgot whichever one that was. But no, that I forgot to do the scale guide for one of them. Either way, um, scale guide basically level one is playing a stadium or just do extreme dash. Level two is customize. And for the customization recommendation, it is Hell's Hammer 570 a cell. And this is level 3, which is the rare Bay Get Bow, which is how you get Cobalt Drake. And for the next Beyblade Random Booster, it is Tyranno Beat. So, if you um, like Dinosaur Beyblades, which, yeah, that will be coming up. And I'll be getting that, hopefully. So, look forward to that. And here is the... Oh, first let's go... Let's go, let's go over the, the launcher first. Here's the launcher. It's basically the same as all the other launches, except it has a blue, um, has a blue prong thing, and the record is blue. Works like every other launcher that you've ever seen before for Beyblade X. Pretty normal. And if you wanted me to compare it, then here it is. They're literally the same as any other Beyblade X Winder launcher. And yeah, nothing special about it. And I will, um, I guess when I put the Beyblade together, I will compare it to Drawn Sword and Drawn um, Dagger. But here's the, here's the blade. The blade is called Drawn Buster. But the idea of this is supposed to be like a one hit KO or a one hit burst or like a one hit extreme finish. So I was like, all the weight and the power is kind of focused onto this point. At this point actually is kind of rounded off a little bit, but it's basically like all the way it's supposed to be towards this point so that way it could give a really big hit. 
And this will affect the Sam a lot, but you still get that one big hit impact. And another thing to keep in mind for the extreme line, for the unique extreme line of Beyblades, you actually see there's no more covering on the Beyblades themselves. So this little plastic film, that's gone. It has gone completely. And instead of that, even the launcher prongs are also plastic instead of metal. So it's supposed to basically make it where the waves distribute outwards and you'll give more unique um, unique features and like more unique weight and stuff like that. So that's a really interesting way to, to do things, but we'll just see how this works in battle. I really like how drawn Buster kind of looks like a, um, kind of looks like the dragon is, like it's, it is breathing fire like all the other times, but you can just tell that this time it looks like it's way more intense than the last two times. So we'll just, um, we'll see how intense it actually is. Here's the ratchet. The ratchet is called 160. This is our very first time seeing 160. It is at 60 height and there's only one point on it. The one point is supposed to line up with, um, with drawing Buster itself. And I think if you were worried about burst resistance, this might be one of the best ones to use for burst resistance, but we just have to see. It also depends on your mold too, so keep in mind of the molds because sometimes, like you might think this is probably the best one to use, but sometimes the molds actually do make a difference and you might still burst more with this mold than like let's say you buy another drawn buster and then that uh, might be tighter than this. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind the molds. And here is the Acel bit. I almost said driver <laughs> because Acel originally came out on um, it came out on Valkyrie, like the original Valkyrie, but this Acel is actually a bit for, um, for Beyblade X. So the Acel bit, this has, I think it's supposed to have 16 teeth instead of 12 or something like that. So it's basically just a lot of teeth for a lot of speed and power. And it also has high burst resistance too, so that means that won't come apart easily. And now let's put this um let's put this bail together okay draw and buster and as you want to if you were curious the thing really doesn't spin at all just like i was kind of mentioning this is actually not exactly a new thing there was actually um there was actually the plastic generation remakes for bayway x and those also have the same thing where they don't spin in the middle. So it's like the bit spins but the actual center piece doesn't spin. It doesn't affect the performance by the way. People say people are worried about it and everything, but don't worry, it doesn't affect the performance at all. Just it is it's like using drawings or spiral for Beyblade X. It just doesn't don't don't think about it <laughs> pretty much. Um because this this whole spinning thing is basically more like a stag thing, if you think about it. But yeah. Either way let's compare it to the other ones. For drawing Buster, it looks like it's way more, um, it looks like the metal is darker. Like, I just, I, I just unboxed this and the metal already looks dull compared to the other two. So that's something to kind of keep in mind if you're worried about being shiny. Um, another thing to mention is that the, of course the icons are different, like the actual centerpiece. And the designs are different too. This is a special version of Drawn Sword from the um, entry set, but still you kind of get the idea. Then so you see they all have basically the same color scheme and everything. Yeah, there's not really much to compare with them. They're all attack types, they just do different things. So it's like how this one just, it's like smash attack with the normal extreme dash and everything. And this is like continuous extreme dash for Drawn Dagger and then Drawn Buster has that one hit kind of gimmick. And now, let's do some test spins and test battles. I'm really interested in seeing how this works, so let's go. Three, two, one, go shoot! Whoa! Okay. Two extra dashes. And it seems like it's out of stamina already, pretty much. But it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'll give it that. It's pretty crazy. Because if you compare it to Drawn Dagger, 
it basically just does multiple extreme dashes with ease. Like that was already three, and it could have probably done four. And then the normal one. Yeah, normal one is so crazy, just so KOs. So, yeah, they're all different. They all have different um, styles of blading, basically. And now, let's do the test battles. So, the test battles will be up against... Um, I forgot what they call this team. <laughs> I forgot what they call this team, which is really sad, but, um, it's basically a Burns team. Oh, Team Yggdrasil. Yeah, Team Yggdrasil. So we're battling up against Team Yggdrasil. So it's Phoenix Wing, Unicorn Sting, and Sphinx Cow. Three, two, one. Yeah, let's shoot. Whoa! One hit KO. A literal one hit KO. <laughs> From Drawn Buster, which is crazy. Three, two, one, just shoot! Whoa. Okay, that was crazy. That was an extreme finish from Unicorn Sting. Okay, three, two, one, just shoot! Whoa! Whoa, that was an explosive battle! John Buster wins that round with a spin finish. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay. That was pretty crazy. Phoenix Wing wins that round with an extreme finish. Okay, so when do I think of John Buster? I know I didn't really do many test battles with it, but from what I could tell, it really seems like the, um, it seems like the phrase, with great power comes great responsibility. Because that's all it really seems like with how it has basically one main point of contact and all the rest of it is just kind of... It's not exactly easy to ignore, but it's basically just one of those things where it could go out of control really fast if you're unable to, um, if you're not used to it. And it has really crazy speed, but at the same time, with all the recoil and speed, that can actually... It can end up just backfiring against you, like how it did against the Unicorn Sting. It just lost really fast, so I say with great power comes great responsibility and be careful with this Beyblade because um, if you're just using it and not really caring too much, then it could probably self-KO. Self-KO or self-extreme, either way, you still lose, but um, yeah, that's basically my final verdict for it. In terms of the parts, I'd say a cell. I feel like a cell is probably good on on probably a different Beyblade, so so probably use like um maybe if you use it on Phoenix Wing, that might be interesting. Try a cell on Phoenix Wing or something because that might actually work might work out for Phoenix Wing or Tyranno B or something like that. Then we'll see it, how that works out. And then for one, I'm not sure what one would be good for to be honest. I think one might actually be good for attack. For those um for those attack combos so maybe like a shark edge or something where it won't really it won't really make contact with the stadium anyway but if you actually do make contact with the stadium by mistake you have less chances to actually self burst so yeah probably use one on the attack type be able to possibly and then for drawn bust yourself i'm not sure I'm not even sure this will be competitively valuable it might be competitively valuable, but it'll be one of those high risk, high reward things. So probably trying to try to see what kind of combination you could come up with. I haven't really done many combo testing videos, but maybe one day I will. Just to see how some of these Beyblades actually hold up, like in the live stream or something. Either way, like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time, bye, and we are proven to be legendary. Stay legendary.